So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to complete the square for these types of examples where the coefficient, the number in front of x squared, is more than 1. So you could have like a 2 or 3 or whatever number. It could be anything, okay? And these are the three examples that will show you the method on, okay? So, the first thing you'll notice is, this is the form of a quadratic, of a general quadratic, and we want to make this go into this form, where we have a value here, which would be a number. We'll have a value for P, again a number, it could be a positive or a negative, and, and we also want a value for Q, okay? So we want to get it into this format, all right? So, let's go here, let's identify what we do. So, our A here is 2. We want to get rid of that 2, so that the coefficient of x squared is 1. Now, we can divide out the 2 by factorizing, okay? So that's what we'll do. So each one of those, I will do the same process. So I'm going to take out the 2 here, okay, by factorizing the 2 out. So the 2, I can have it outside, and inside, I will have x squared. Remember, they have to multiply to give me this, okay? The minus will be here. Now, what will I have here? What number will I have here? So it gives me a 12 when it multiplies with the 2. I'll have to have a 6 there. So it'll be 6x. What number will I need to have here? So that when it multiplies with the 2, it still gives me 8? 4. So it'll be a plus 4. Okay? So this is what I will use to complete the square. I'll come back to that 2 afterwards. All right? So let's do the same process on here. So what will I take out here? I'll take out the 3. So I'll take a 3 out. And in the bracket, I'll have everything else. So x squared. And what will need to go here to give me 8? Now, this time, you know, 8 doesn't divide nicely by 3. Okay, so here, when we have 12 and we divide it by 2, it gave us a nice 6. But 8 doesn't. So what we can do is we can just leave it as 8 over 3 and an x. And the same thing with the 10. 10 doesn't divide nicely by 3. We can't get a whole number, an integer. So we'll leave this as 10 over 3. Okay, now notice what happens when you multiply this out, the, this will give you 3 times x squared, which is 3x squared, and this, the 3 will cancel here, they will cancel just giving you the 8. The 3 will cancel this one, just giving you the 10. Alright, so you still end up with what you want here. Let's go on to that last one. So we, what are we taking out this time? We're taking out the 2. So we'll have the 2, and then bracket, x squared, plus, once again, 11 over 2x, and we close that bracket. So, all we've done is we factorize out that integer in front of the x squared so that we have a quadratic without, well, a quadratic with just a 1. All right? So far, so good? Excellent. The next step, so if you looked at the previous example when we were doing this, we just follow the same steps, which is step number one. We're going to ignore these red numbers, the 2, the 3, the uh, 2, okay? We'll, we'll introduce it back at the end, okay? So, what do we do? We have an empty bracket like this, we put a square here, we put an x here. And then this is a negative, so what do we do with this value here? We divide by 2. So we'll divide the 6 by 2. What do we get? What's 6 divided by 2? 3. three. So we'll put a 3 in there. And then what do we do? We take away whatever this value is, isn't it? So we take away 3 squared. Alright? So it's always squared, so don't forget, you. You, you square the value and then you take it away. And then it's already got a 4 here, so we can just leave that tagging along like that. Let's do the same thing over here. So once again, ignore the 3, just look at this. So this one is going to be a little bit more trickier than this one, but we'll follow the same process, okay? So what goes in here? An x. What sign do we have? Plus. Now, we have a fraction. We want to divide this by 2. Now, there's a trick that you can use. When you have a fraction and you want to divide it by 2, obviously you can put it into your calculator, but if it appears on a non calculator paper, then you want to use this method. When you divide a fraction by 2, right, and you want to divide the whole thing by 2, a fraction, then it's simply just multiplying the denominator by 2. So it's the opposite of dividing, right? So just multiply the denominator by 2. So what is 3 times by 2? 6. So you're going to have here 8 over 2. 6, right? And then, if it simplifies, you simplify it. So in this case, can you simplify 8 over 6? Yeah. What can you divide both numbers by? 
2. So you can divide the top by 2, what do you get? And the bottom by 2, what do you get? 3. So it's 4 over 3. And then what do we do? Just like we did earlier, we take this away. Now this time it's a fraction, so you do 4 over 3, and then you square this fraction. Alright? And you take that away. Okay? And then you've got here your 10 over 3. That's already a part of this. So far so good? Yes. Alright. Now let's do this on this one. So, once again, ignore the 2. Just look at that. So, we have an empty bracket. We do x. What do we have here? A plus and 11 over 2. So once again, 11 over 2 is a fraction. Okay? We can treat it like a decimal. Right, so we can have like 5.5 .5 and then divide that by 2, but avoid that, just use um, fractions as much as possible, alright? So, what's this going to be? It's going to be 11 over, what do we do to the 2? We times it, we can remember we're dividing by 2, so the dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying the denominator by 2. So it's going to be 11 over 4. So it's 11 over 4. Can we simplify 11 over 4? No, we can't, so we leave it like that. And then we've got a square here. And then we take away. What do we take away? We take away a fraction of 11 over 4, all squared. And this one doesn't have anything like this one did. Okay, th these ones did. So you leave it as it is. So that's step number one done. Alright, let's go back to the first one and do step number two. And then we'll do that for the rest of them. Alright, so what is step number two? It is simply to simplify all of this. Okay, so simplify that, simplify that. Right, so let's go and simplify that. What do we get? What's... 3 squared. Now, this is not minus 3 squared. It is 3 squared and you're taking that away. Alright, so this is very important. It might be useful to actually have this in a bracket like that. Right, so now we are simplifying this. So let's rewrite this part as it is. So that's good. Now, what is 3 squared? Remember, this is not minus 3 squared. It is 3 squared and you're taking that away. So that gives us 9. And then we add the 4. So now all we need to do is minus 9 plus 4. What's minus 9 plus 4? Minus 5. So all of this becomes x minus 3 squared minus 5. Good? We'll come back to that 2 in a second. All right? But let's go and simplify this as well. Here, we've got a fraction that we are squaring and simplifying. All right? Now, it's very important. What does this square do? Is it just doing the square of the 4 or the whole thing? The whole thing. So it's going to be 4 squared and 3 squared. What is 4 squared? 16. So look, the minus is there, okay, because that's that. So it's going to be 16 over 9 plus 10 over 3. 10 over 3 is from here, okay? And it's really, really important that you understand the fraction because that's when they start to get trickier. That's where the GCSE, uh, you know, grading goes from a 7 to an 8. Okay, so you need your knowledge of fractions for this. All right, let's write this out as it is. So x plus 4 over 3 squared. Now we have this. If it's a calculator paper, no problem. Put this straight into your calculator, get the answer. But it might appear in a non calculator paper, these sort of questions. So you have to be prepared to use non calculator techniques. So now you need your knowledge of fractions. You're adding fractions with different denominators. So what do we need to do? We need to get this one to have the same denominator as this one. How do we get this to have the same denominator as this one? What do we do to this fraction? We times it by 3. So we're going to multiply this entire fraction by 3 here. So what do we do? When What do we get when we um, times it by 3? The top becomes 30 and the bottom becomes 9. So now we have minus 16 over 9 plus 30. Now the denominator is the same, we can just add the top. So minus 16 plus 30. What's minus 16 plus 30? Minus 14? Is it going to be minus? It's going to be a positive 14, yeah? So it's going to be a positive 14. Let's write that down. So it's going to be plus 14 over what? Over 9, right? And let's write the rest of this as it is. So x plus 4 over 3 squared plus 14 over 9. Once again, can you simplify 14 over 9? You can try and simplify if the frac fraction simplifies, okay? Right, we'll come back to this 3 in a second. Let's go and do it on this one now, right? So, here, it's just this one, so it's going to be what? x plus 11 over 4 squared, and this is going to be minus what? What's 11 squared? 121. What's 4 squared? 16. So that's that, okay? Now, we have been ignoring the thing that we factorized out. We now need to introduce this back in. How? 
we put a bigger bracket around here and we put that number there. So this, in this case, it's going to be 2. Now that's, this 2 is going to multiply with everything inside this square bracket. All right. So the 2 will jump over this bracket and multiply with this bracket. So what we can write is 2 bracket x minus 3 squared. And then the 2 will multiply with this minus 5. So let's have the minus there now. And what's 2 times 5? 10. Now can you see, if you look at what they want it as, what they want it as um, you've got your a, which is your 2, your p, which is minus 3, right? Because the sign for that one is positive. Your one is a negative. So your p is going to be minus 3. So your a is going to be 2. Your p is going to be minus 3. And what's your q? They have a plus q. So your q is going to be minus 10. Okay? And there you have it in that form. This is completing the square for this. Now let's go and do it for this one. All right? So what's going to happen here? You're going to have that in a big bracket. And then what are you going to put outside here? You're going to put your 3 here. The 3 is going to jump over that first bracket, multiply with this, giving you 3 bracket x plus 4 over 3 squared. Now, look what happens. The 3 is going to multiply with this fraction. Right? Let me do this separately so you can see what actually happens. So, this 3 is going to multiply with the 14 over 9. Can you notice anything here to simplify this? Rather than doing 3 times 14 over 9, which you can do if you're comfortable with that, can you see 3 and the 9, do they have something in common? They can both be divided by 3. So you can actually cross cancel here, yeah? Okay? So, divide this by 3, what do you get? 1. Divide this by 3, what do you get? You get 3. So you're ending up with 1 times 14 over 3. So here, you'll have plus 14 over 3 as your final answer. And your value for A is 3. Your value for P is 4 over 3. It's a positive this time, matching that. And your value for Q is 14 over 3. Is that good? And finally, on to that last one. So here, what do we do? We have that 2 here, so let's put the 2 in here. The 2 is going to jump over and multiply with this, it's giving you that with the bracket. Now, the 2 is going to multiply with all of that. So just like before, let's do that as well. So 2 times minus 121 over 16. So what do you notice here? 2 and the 16, what can they do? You can divide by 2. Right? So this cancels, giving you a 1. Well, it doesn't cancel, it simplifies to give you a 1. And this becomes an 8. So you have 1 times minus 121, which is minus 121, over 8. So you can come here and write minus 121 over 8. And that is completing the square for that. So your value of your A here is 2. Your value of P is 11 over 4. And your value for Q is minus 121 over 8. And that's how you complete the square when you have numbers uh, greater than 1. Hope you enjoyed this video and you can now complete the square where the coefficient of x squared is more than 1. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and share amongst your friends. Bye for now. See you in the next video, guys.